What's up guys, Anklespagan here, and today we are playing as Azir in the mid lane. And this is a champion you all have wanted to see for quite a long minute by now. And I would just, I would love to get this video out for you guys because I do enjoy this champion, but he is not um, my forte, as one might say. So, we'll be giving it our best shot. This should be a relatively high ELO game. Actually, come to think of it, how about you just let me check a Rooney this? So, lolnexus.com, please sponsor me. Give me money and stuff. Sell out. But, it looks like we are against, yep, pretty much everyone on their team was Diamond last season or is currently Diamond or Plat. So, looking good, looking good, looking all gravy, baby. And, if you guys do know me from the past, you would know that, uh, I <laughs> fucking will. <laughs> if you guys do know me though, from the past, um, I <laughs> I have not had the best track record on this champion. For whatever reason, I just go so ridiculously ham and mess things up very frequently. Um, and you know what? That's fine. It's all gravy. So. Anyways, we are going to be against a Zed today. Should be actually... shit. Honestly, it shouldn't be that difficult of a lane. That man just disappeared. Okay, whatever. It honestly shouldn't be that difficult of a lane if I play it uh, any form of properly at all whatsoever. But, I don't know how to play this lane properly at all whatsoever. So, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll just be giving it our best shot here and seeing how things go. Go ahead and do a little poke right there to him. Get him with that poke. Mm. Him with that. Uh, him with that. Uh, uh. There goes like half of his health. Nicely done, me. But <laughs> CSing, as you know, is way too hard. So, go ahead and get some of those and those mini onions. Get some good damage off there. And I think, you know, I think it should be. I think it should be okay. Because my biggest flaws with Azir are playing his lane phase. I'll be honest, totally rhombus here with you all for just a minute. I am, <laughs> I am unsure how to play this guy's lane phase. Which sucks, because Azir's lane phase is amazing. If you're good at it, like whenever I go against Azir, it's like a very talented Azir, I just... Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. No, it's not going to kill him. Maybe? No, it's totally not. Six health left. And I... T I forgot there's no knockup anymore. It's been quite a while since I played Azir. Um, forgetting there was no knockup on that E actually did dick me. I kind of thought to myself, I would be okay to get a kill without trying to flash out. Because I thought I would just die. Whoa, that flash knockup. This will actually be a kill, I think, for... For Jasmina. So Jamina picking up that hook kill, getting that red buff for the Blitzcrank will be a good shit there. And Pants picking up an assist on his jungle Lucian. So it should be quite alright. And I'm going to be playing this game just 100% around uh, team fighting. They, like, especially after I've fallen behind a Zed in lane now. Unless I just make the sweetest and illest outplay you've ever diddly done darn seen on this side of the hemisphere. I'm fucked. Um, like, in this lane, I am just... It's over. Uh, I need to rush the Seeker's Arm Guard, and pretty much, to my knowledge, the way you play against Zed as Azir is you just wait for him to ult you, and then you ult him. And boom, there you go. So, a pretty... Okay, got the Siege. Whatever, it's fine. I got the, got the Siege. I don't even give a heck. I don't even give even a one heck. So, that is good. Our CS slightly behind by two. Not a big deal. Will picking up a kill on that top lane, Akali, though. And for those of you that don't know, we are playing with a bunch of people. You may know we do have Cop on the AD carry Jin right now. Holy shit, that damage is nuts. Awesome. <laughs> but we have Cop on the AD carry Jin. We have Pansar Dragon on that jungle Lucian. We have Meteos on the top lane, Tom Kench. And then we also have Jasmina Lin as the Blitzcrank support. So quite the all-star lineup here of, uh, you know, pretty, pretty sweet individuals. 
but uh, it's looking like Zed is going to be hitting level 6 soon, so I'm going to be playing very far in the back, because if he hits 6 and I am just slightly too far up, I'm going to get dicked. Uh, and I'm not saying that lightly, I'm saying like he is going to just shove it into my chest and rip my heart out. It is not going to feel good. And when I say it, I mean those awesome blades of his, and that Razor Shuriken. So unlucky, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. It looks like we got the Blitzcrank Roam coming mid. Could be something cool. Go ahead and get him with the poke there, and that will be not a, not a hook. <laughs> just a uh, just a scare tactic. It was just a prank, bro, as some people would say. And I need to back up because a Aatrox can definitely dark flight onto me and ruin my day. He can just fuck my shit up. So let's see. Uh oh, it's looking like the Blitzcrank could be in a sticky situation here. But so could Pants. Zed could actually just like super hardcore all in Pants right now and really ruin him actually. But, fortunately, now that we do have our ultimate, we might be able to get a pretty cool outplay off on this Zed. We have our ult, we have our ignite, we have everything ready to go. So taking a little bit of damage, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just, woo, go ahead and shove him that way, and bop. He flashed out of my ignite range, he's a god. He flashed my ignite. <laughs> Literally, as I went to ignite him, he flashed it. What a beast! Alright, I can't even be upset about that because he just did it so well. But, Zed doing his thing. Right as I went to ignite, he poofed. I told Pants, I told Pants, I am not going to be winning my lane here. I told him on Skype. That, that in my defense, I specifically let him know this at the very beginning. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so Will just reminded me of some uh, painful memories there. There used to be a time in League of Legends where you actually could ignite minions, and uh, it was a very bad feeling when you would misclick your ignite and hit a minion. And now Zed has a full hex drinker, so like I said, on top of that early gank, look at this awesome amount of damage we're doing to him now. It is just, just spectacular. So basically, I apologize guys, but this is kind of what I expected to happen if I chose to play Azir, just because I know I'm not very good at the champion. We are going to play this lane like the biggest bitch you've ever seen in your life ever, and I'm sorry, it's not going to be fun. It is not going to be fun for anyone, for literally anyone, but you know what? It might be fun for Zed over here because he's a bad person playing Zed in normals. I'm totally joking. You're not a bad person depending on whatever champion you play. People might look down on you because, you know, they're like, oh, try hard champions. But in all reality, you're not actually a bad person. So let's see. I can get my Seeker's Arm Guard now. So I'm going to go back, do that, grab some potions, maybe some boots, perhaps. Nah, I think I'll just grab the Seekers for some good armor and ability power that stacks as I get minions. And I'm going to buy a shit ton of potions here. So. Unfortunately, not going to be able to kill him. I know this right now. If we couldn't kill him before, actually I could have killed him before if I used my ignite immediately, which I really should have. That was my mistake 100% through and through. But with a hex drinker, we're simply not going to do enough damage if we're building defensively. So, like I said, like I've said a 14,000 times now, I want to go for team fights. That's what Azir is good at if he falls behind in lane anyways, and that's why Azir is actually one of those champions that whenever I see on my team, no matter how well or bad he does, I don't give up, you know? I do not give up in a game if I ever see an Azir, because they just vomit out damage as games go on. So it looks like we do have the Blitzcrank right there. Let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can... Oh, that hook! Holy shit! What a hook! That's gonna be a kill right there, Jasmina! Picking up the big plays right there will be able to help us get something in this lane. That was, that was good. That was, that was tasty. That was just goddamn tasty. There's no way around it. That was great. So, that will help us a lot. It'll give me a little bit of time to try and push out some waves. Try and get myself back in this goddamn video game. And see if we can, you know, be a threatening force. 
for, you know, anyone to worry about. Go ahead and queue straight through there, get those minions, and let's back. So Namai, warding that bush with a normal ward, will expire eventually. And let's see here. So, wow, he's already 3-0 up there against this Akali. Oh, she's not going tank Akali. Of course she's going to lose. <laughs> Casual. But, let's see. I'm just going to grab... Unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not strong enough. What is this Aatrox doing? He's going to get culled to the ground. Thinking he can just fight a jungle Lucian. <laughs> Casual. All right. So, 0-2-1. Oh, Everyone else is doing spectacularly. You know what? Games like this happen. And she was delicious. I bet she was just the most delicious meal that he has had in ages. So, I'm going to go ahead and ping the Mia. Look at that. He's right there. On his way up. Just just look at him. Just look at him. Making his way downtown. Walking fast. Faces pass. And he's homebound. But -na 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 -na. So is Pants dead? Is Pants dead? No, Pants is fine. Zed's a bitch. <laughs> apparently, apparently he is just weak as hell. So actually, come to think of it, Tom Kench might have just eaten, Zed, or, uh, eaten Lucian whenever Zed ulted. And that would have totally negated Zed. So fortunately... Zed's making a horrible choice here. If you guys want to know what this Zed is doing so wrong, he's letting me farm up for nothing. If he was, like, stopping me in any way, it wouldn't be as bad. But he is literally doing nothing to stop me from getting back into this game. I'm 0-2-1, and, and I've already got... Uh-oh. Hello, Aatrox. So let's see. Oh, okay, he's coming over. Go ahead and just poke him up, do some good damage there. That's going to be some good shit. Yes, sir, indeed. And as you can see, against someone with no MR, I'm actually still kind of tickling him, but uh, not a uh, not a huge amount of damage. And let's see. All right, I'm coming down. I'm coming. Here we go. It looks like he's gonna. Uh oh. <coughs> go away. And whoop, I'm fine. Eh, get the fuck out of here, bitch. All right. And wait. This could be it. This could be it. Cha -cha! There's gonna be one kill right there. Now let's go ahead and whoa. Okay, Zed had a shadow, <laughs> but still, we'll be getting something out of that. Pants is gonna go down. We are getting our first kill. That'll help us a lot. And now I have a uh, whatever. I have a needlessly large rod. And Pants bought a coal. <laughs> nice. <laughs> It even specifically says, killing a lane minion. Jesus, that gin damage. Going to just be bopping him. Last auto attack coming in. And, oh. Blitzcrank actually wanted the kill. So, Blitzcrank, going to get that kill for them. And let's see. This game, I'm doing a really good job of making it a closed game. Let me tell you what. I'm doing just a fantastic, a superb job of making this game just slightly harder on everyone's part. But as it goes on, have no fear. King shit is here. So we will annihilate. And I used to actually be good at this champion for some reason, and then literally next to nothing changed about him. And I was literal garbage tier. I don't I I want to know what happened. I'm legitimately curious as to what happened that just like clicked in my head or stopped clicking in my head that just made me awful. Literally made me ass. Go away. I don't want you. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with you. You're mean. JK, I want to beat you up. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, uh. I don't have any buttons. I don't have any buttons. All right, I'm fine. Wait, hang on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hang on. Oh, where's my thing? Okay, whatever. If I had literally any of my buttons, I think I could have gotten <laughs> a kill there pretty easily. Or if I didn't use my soldier to try and poker there, that would have made it uh, moderately easier as well. Ooh, Zed. With that, it looks like, oh, he's going to get eaten and rub, 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 delicious. So that will be a very delicious Zed, as expected. I'm actually going to go get this tower because there's no one here to stop me. Um, I take it all back. She's right there. She's ready to stop me. But do I give a heck? The answer is I'm not sure if I give a heck yet because I don't know how much damage I will do to her. Ah, I don't know if I give a heck. All right, Lucian is here. I don't give a heck. So he's going to dash over that wall right there. No, he's not. He's just going to murder her. So, eh, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if he tried to give me that kill. And if he did, I had a very pathetic showing of trying to get it. 
just awful, <laughs> just terrible. <laughs> and actually, this game I was gonna play, I was gonna play Lucian mid, and then Pants is like, wait, I want to play Lucian jungle, and delicious, <laughs> another tasty snack for Will. Will get him that uh, n another kill on Aatrox, and let's see. Now that we have our Zonias, I'm fine. I'm huge now. I'm huge. One, three, and two, huge. I'm going to carry my team. Honestly, one-to-one -one KDA, bootiful. Absolutely bootiful. If I farmed a lot better, I would have had my Zonias a lot earlier. If I didn't die early, I would have had my Zonias a lot earlier. If I didn't do a lot of things that I fucked up on really horrendously early, this whole game would be going a lot better for us. But, you know what? You learn more in defeat than you do in victory. That is one thing that everyone and their sisters could stand to learn a thing or two about. Because, a lot of people always ask, um, like now that I'm thinking about this, I might as well talk about it, but a lot of people do ask me quite frequently, they're like, what do you, like, what's, what is the best way to learn? And honestly, the best way to learn is to try and not let a defeat get you down. That is by far going to be your best bet. Because it sounds so cliche every single time anyone says it, but it is beyond the truth. You will always learn a lot more in your mistakes than you will in your victories. There is just more to learn out of. If you're making mistakes, or if you're losing, that means you are making mistakes that you can pay attention to and learn from. If you're winning, you're probably still making mistakes in League. But it's a lot harder to be like, this is what I could have done better. And it's hard to have that mentality when you literally just won your game. So, I'm going to go ahead and set up Shirima's legacy right here. Give myself a dank turret and see if we can uh, just pile down this lane some more. Because that is two turrets going down in mid here. Will be good for us. It looks like the big Kench will go down, unfortunately. And I have not even attempted to make any cool plays. I would have loved to. Believe me. Believe me. I would have just... Whoa! That Akali damage! And I will do something along the lines of helping. So... Eh. 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 What? Oh. Okay. That works. <laughs> not what I expected, but it works. So let's see. Kench is... Oh. Please, oh god, he's good. Ah. Alright, I'm here. I'm here, and I'm ready. And bleep, go ahead and just shove him over the wall, and not gonna get that dark flight out of there. Let's go ahead and just, uh, I was trying to wait for him to use his Q before I knocked him out of it. And I did a great job there. So, I bet we were delicious. Just look at me. How could I not be delicious? Bonk, 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 bonk. Uh-oh. Hey! My man! Gonna get me out of there. Get me out of that hot seat. Thank you very much, Will. What a hero. What a homie. Eh. Oh! <laughs> oh, God! And I'm out of there! So let's see, it looks like the flash, the zap will be the wrong way, and the hook will not land. And let's get some Shuriman Ballers rolling in the Saharan Desert of Summoner's Rift. And we're fine. So, making some definite distance there between me and my enemies. With my Flash, my Zonia's Will's hot and tasty mouth. And look at it. He is going for another one right here. And where's the tongue? Gonna give her a lickin'. There's the Flash lickin'. Delicious, Akali. And good job there. So let's see. Go ahead and grab these, these, and we'll also grab Ionian Booties of Lucidity. Bumping me up to 42% CDR. Now that's a lot. I ain't no scientist, but oh god, is he good? Oh god, oh god, he's dead! No, my hero. Alright, let's see. Man, <laughs> Pants' reaction is just so tame. It's like, darn. Oh darn. These guys are just permanently ch You know what? I believe them. But with all this CDR now, I got a lot more attack speed. I got a lot more delicious, delicious damage to dish out into the enemy's stew of pain. So, knowing me as... Well, I was going to say the Master Chef, but I can't really say that when we have a Tom Kench on our team. Uh, oh, man, come on. Zed, go away. I want, I want a killer. 
Wanna... I wanna kill that Jinx. Oh wait. My chance. Hello? No. Alright, you know what? Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, oh wait, hello. I'll take this. Don't mind if I do. Look at that attack speed. Look at it. Respect it. Bop, bop, bop. And now we have a red. All right, so my auto attacks will inflict a burning debuff that also burns uh, structures now because they buff red buff. And apparently Zed over there could not duke it out with the turret. That is for darn sure. Or the super minion, excuse me. But let's go ahead and see if we can just, you know, annihilate these guys. Just shove it down a little bit. Because, you know, I mean, if they're... Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wow. Go ahead and whoop, pop off on that. Don't let those marks hit me. And I'm still dead anyways. Because, you know, they're broken champions. But! Fucking shit on. Absolutely annihilated. It looks like he is eating the robot. And let's see. Spin it out. Let's see. There's the power fist. And the hook will miss as she just totally whips it and it looks like Jin will hit that but it's not gonna matter Zed going in as he tanks the turret and it's gonna be totally fine all gravy baby and here's the hook and there's the damage as I was obviously saying just damage all damage right there and Akali is up she's going for it will not get W'd and let's see uh oh he's in her face damage do damage and let's see it. I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab my Nashor's tooth that will give me attack speed. Additional damage on my auto attacks. And a hot and tasty title. Oh boy! And dead. So Kali's fucked. Here's the teleport of the ages. Meteos top lane extraordinaire flying in. He is ready to chef it up. That is a delicious looking hunk of sushi. And he's not even cutting it up first. He's just eating it. And there it goes. There's the heel. She's trying to serve up a little fresh tide of seawater with it. But she is, you know, she's just too delicious for Tom Kench to, to forego. Like, what's, what's a Kench to do? And you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I did it! <laughs> I just out mechanicalized him so. Ah! Broken champion! Broken ass champion! Fucking broken ass champion! Alright, there it is! And it looks like he's still duking it out! And. Nope, they're not delicious enough. I thought I'd be totally fine to just, like, use my ult. I didn't think I would need to Zonia's there. I should have Zonia's. Hindsight's 2020 and whatnot. I should have Zonia's. Pretty sure most of them are scripting, if not all of them. Did you see those Jinx auto attacks? Not even a single one missed, dude. Not even a single one missed. Honestly, too talented. Too talented. And what else do I get now? Rylize, right? That's what... That's what all them young hooligans these days are getting on Azir? I don't know. Hey, hey yo, my man Red Mercy! What you bit on Azir? Because I have no idea. I'm gonna assume it's Rylize, because Rylize is super dang. Because it makes everyone slowed on your auto attacks, and then you can just sit there and go, bleh, 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 bleh. And your Shareem and Ballers are just like, bleh, 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 bleh. Just like that. And that's literally how Azir team fights. All right, I'm coming, team. I'm coming. Oh, that damage. And he's going to dodge the buble. And there's some big damage. Aatrox going down. And, oh, is he a sniper? It literally. Oh, and I take it back. He's the best. And, woo. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And there's the Kench. There he is. Oh, there's the Flash. And, yarg. yeah, I earned that. I obviously earned that. Oh, Zed. Go Whoa. What did you. What did Pants just do to that Zed? That was hot. That was gnarly. Uh oh. Oh boy. And. Woo! And. Get over there! Whoop. Go ahead and just uh, do this thing. And. Whatcha! Boom, baby! That's gonna be the kill. We just. Oh. No, no, please, 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 not like that! <laughs> <laughs> And this 
is why he's out of the LCS. This is exactly why he's in the LCS, or not in the LCS now. <laughs> you asshole. God damn it. Alright, getting our giant's belt. I'm gonna go ahead and give him an angry frowny face. And that <laughs> will be that. They have one Nexus turret still standing. No more is going to be going down just this immediate second. I think we should get Baron. Hey, team. Let's do Baron. There we go. Communicate my desires with my teammates. And that way we are all on the same page. And can put an equal effort into doing a large objective. But you can. Oh, look at that hook. Look at that snare. Look at the damage. The ignite. Boom! Jasmina. 6-6 six, six, and 14. That's a lot of damage without even any damage items. That's pretty, pretty rad. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Team? Team? Get over here. There you go. Get that fucking robotic. It's a perfect Tom Kenshaw. You know what? <laughs> Just stellar. Just stellar. And... Ow. Jinx, you bitch. You tiny tittied slut. Fucking little monster. What are you even doing? Just shooting little rockets at me. Oh, hey, there's an Akali here. Flip. And... Round bonk. That's going to be an easy kill. Get out of that shroud, you slut. And you great person, I meant to say. And we all missed. Hey, yeah. Go ahead and poker. And a slow. Not going to get the slow. Come on. Eh. Yes. Yeah. Fuck. Jasmina. Ah. Okay, I'm fine. Hello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Not like this. Okay, he's fine. Yeah, it's all. It's fine. It's all good. Wait. Oh, and the heal, but he's dead. All right. Honestly, <sighs> disappoint, son. Disappoint. So let's see. Oh, here goes the Kench. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> What is even going on at this point in the game? Never mind. Mad damages. Oh, a delicious, delicious, and bleh. Go ahead and just eat her up, spit her out. Honestly, Tom Kench is just the worst at blowjobs, and they are going into the tower, and that's going to be one more going down. That's going to be another going down. You know, I really enjoy League of Legends games where everyone is just playing to have a good time. <laughs> so let's go ahead, set up Sharima's legacy right here in the back lines. And oh god, me versus Zed. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna come out on top? Obviously me, because I'm just so handsome and talented. Wrecked. 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 Look at this damage wrecked. I'm just so handsome and talented. Just, mm, fuck yeah. All right, do it. Come on, I'll fight you. I'll fight you. No beef, bro, no beef. And let's see, I mean, they're kind of losing their base just from us like nonchalantly sitting here. Oh wait, the teleport of the ages, here he goes. And he's bubble. And uh-oh, wait, get out of here. Whoa, and I'm in the belly, in the Your stomach was filled with corrosive acid. Oh. I guess Tom Kench, not only does he like eating enemies, he really like he really likes eating chickens, such as myself. Cause I am a cluck cluck cockadoodle do bitch kind of chicken man. So, uh I guess. Taking a lot of damage from that Zed. Uh Deathmark and Dustblade of Drakthar. The combo is just too strong. And it looks like Foul over here going to be getting one kill. And it looks like Jinx is going for the flash, will not get snared. And it looks like Jasmina doing a lot of damage. There's the curtain call and dodging out of the Super Mega Death Rocket, beautifully canceling the ultimate. And that, 
was well done. That was actually well done. There it is. And the flash knockup. Boom! There's the snare. And bonk. Boom! There's the ace. 3v5. And getting the Asu. Nicely done. And... Okay. He's not dead. And... <laughs> what is going on? I'm coming! Jeez. Yeah, I made it in the belly! Woo! I'm in, baby, I'm in! <laughs> Gonna get in there for that last bit of the game here. And let's see it. <laughs> Not gonna be getting that. Woo! Shove back into your base! Stay in there! Stay in there! Come on! No! No, 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 Come on! No! No! Come on! Will! Not like this. I'm trying to make a video here. We're just elongating the game at this point. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> fucking, fucking troll, dude. <laughs> All right. Can we end this game before the 40 minute mark? Can we end this game before they just get so powerful that they are actually able to start killing us and winning themselves? Because that would be awkward. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves our trinket just so it doesn't look like in my match history that I forgot to switch out my trinket. Because I obviously did not. And this time if Will tries to troll me, I do have my flash to get out of this one. Okay. Okay, wait, he did want to get his call done. I'm assuming his call is done, because he doesn't have it in, in his inventory anymore. So, gonna make an assumption there that it did. Me! Yeah! Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Let me in there. Oh yeah, the belly of the beast, brother! And we are in it! There it is! And... Ah, that's the wrong button. And whoop! Yay! I did it! I kind of just hit all my buttons at the end there, hoping something cool would happen. But, uh, I mean, nothing really happened. I did everything totally backwards. I fucked it up tremendously, but I had a great time. You know what? 12.5k, 1.4k less gold than the support. Obviously, an Azir aficionado. Barely did more damage than our support round of applause you know what honestly i should get a pat on the back just for how goddamn shitty i am at this champion and maybe maybe if i ever make a video of this guy again i'll practice a lot more to try and get better at him for you guys because four eight and ten b plus you know what passing i'll take it and I hope you guys still had a good time watching this video. If you did, make sure you do leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. If you want to even follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch, all three links will be in the description below this video. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!